All right. Well, I got really dumb and I actually forgot my spud bar today. Let's see if I can find my scoop. I've drilled a couple test holes here. The ice is really clear right here. So first thing I want to do is test this out. And I'd say we got six inches right here. I want to see how deep it is. I'm not trying to go real far out without my spud bar. I'm kind of nervous about that. But we'll see how see how deep it is. Either way, right here. So we're three foot. So I'm gonna go ahead and test out a few more holes out this way. I know it's supposed to get deeper. But I'm going to test out a few more holes out that way and uh, see what it looks like. So we've gotten, I'd say we're 30 foot further out. <clears throat> Let's see what this looks like. This ice is so clear right now. It's insane. So we're probably six foot. It's a lot of geese. So there's open water over there, but I mean, we're talking 300 yards over there. 400 yards probably. <laughs> what did I say that was? Six feet? All right. We're going to go another 20, 20 foot that way and see what the depth is there. A lot of ducks. Holy cow. Swans, trumpeter swans. This is nuts. Oh boy. Created a new crack there. I don't like that. <sighs> Still looking at a good six inches of water or ice there. Let's take a look. See what it looks like. Yeah, it'll look like 10, 11 foot. I think we're gonna fish right here. We're gonna be careful because that ice decided it was gonna do whatever it's doing. Well, we got a couple livelies. So we'll get our gear. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just pack light here. We're gonna keep most of the stuff in the tote. All right. So I think the first thing we're gonna set up is a jaw jacker. Jaw Jacka. See if I can I remember how to get this open. Here we go. So I just picked up this thing. I've never used one. Um, I know a lot of folks do. This is cool. But I'm going to go ahead and get this set here. I'm going to get this set up. Here we go. I had a few marks on this hole. I don't expect anything fancy to happen today by any means, but I'm hoping, hoping we can make that work. Now, normally you'd probably use minnows on a jaw jacker like this. Um, I don't, I just, I don't have any minnows. I wasn't going to pick up any minnows. That wasn't my intentions today to get minnows all right so i'm going to take a waxy just a single waxy on just a drop teardrop light color this should uh this should do pretty well in this clear ice so i'm gonna get that sent down there oh, i whipped my head off Okay, looks like we are set with the jaw jacker. You guys that use those often, uh, obviously you have luck with them. I've never done it before, so we'll see how this turns out. Good luck to me. Now, let's see if we can find some fish down here. Right. A little bit late, but 
<laughs> Welcome back guys. It's been a little while. Um, I think it's, I took a four month kind of rest from YouTube, which is sometimes it's just normal. Fishing was slow, not much going on. Then I had to pack up, I had to move, sell the house. So, but I'm back. I, and I'm, of course I'm doing it the craziest time of the year. So I'm out here on Moffat Lake. Moffat is known for bass, crappie, and bluegill. And this lake surprisingly is deep. Um, I'm in one of the more shallow coves over here. And uh, for good reason, I forgot my spud bar. Spud bars are important. Um, I guess I thought it was a good idea to just lean it up against the wall in the garage. And when I went to leave, I forgot that I did that. But anyway, I did a bunch of test holes out to where I am. We got six to eight inches of ice. It's really thick and it's extremely clear. Uh, today's temp is going to be about 25 degrees, but I am going to, uh, I'm out on the ice for the first time this year. I do have my jaw jacker set up right over there and uh never use that but i'm gonna give it a shot i mean why not so anyway let's see if we can catch some fish uh i'm sitting at about if i'm reading this right about eight feet of water and i do see marks so probably bluegill but i'm gonna give it a shot anyway so stay tuned all right so we're starting off with the bigger display it's a swedish pimple just to see what's down there I'm gonna be kind of aggressive at first. I do have a wax worm tipped on it. I, I thought about popping up the hut, but I, I really not real comfortable with that yet right now. This is my first time on real clear ice like this, which is cool. It's awesome, but I'm still a little bit nervous. I know I've got really good ice here but uh without a buddy today i'm just kind of chilling all by myself today i'm just i'm gonna chill i'm just gonna relax where i'm at got a little mark down there come on buddy commit to it so let's see how this turns out here Got some marks kind of acting like bluegill. Let's see if we can get one. I kind of hope I do. And one hit on it. There won that waxy worm. Come on. There it is. There's a fish. Save the day. It's not a bad fish. Oh, that's a. What is that? Oh, it's a perch, boy. Oh, that's a perch. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a perch, guys. Yes. That's my first ever perch through the ice. That's not a small perch either. That's a fatty. Look at there. That's a perch. Yes. Yes. It's my first ever perch, guys. Awesome. What a good looking perch. Nice. All right, we'll let this guy go. Yes! Yeah! Woo! Yes! Look at that! It's a perch! That's my first ever perch. Mmm, through the ice, boy. That's a fat guy, too. All right, we're going to let him go. Check it out. Yes! Yes! Woo! Yeah! Perch through the ice, boy. And there's more down there. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Look at that. Another perch. And these are not bad perch, guys. For a lake that's not supposed to have any perch at all, look at that. Oh, flippy floppy, calm down, guy. Look at that. That's not a bad perch. We're two on the board with perch, guys. Not bad. Look at that. Dude, out of nowhere, these perch are getting it. And they're just sitting real, real tight on the bottom. I'll let him go here. Oh, go, go, buddy. Turn around. You got this. You got it. There you go. 
Down is down. There we go. Oh, man, you can see him go. I can still see him. Can you see him? He's right there. Holy cow. The ice is so clear. Guys, this is, oh, this is awesome. I'm on the perch. On the perch. Come on. You keep this up, I might start... If they keep coming like this, I'm going to probably start keeping some. Because, I mean, why not, right? They're just sitting real tight on the bottom. They're just to get it six, eight inches off the bottom. And then just kind of slowly come up. This is two. That's two this trip. That's two more than I've ever gotten in my life. Mm, yes. All right, guys, stay tuned. There's still more down there. Stay tuned. Okay, I know the wind is bad, but we've punched a few more holes. About six more that way, and oh, probably, oh, what you think? probably, I think four or five more other spot I'm sitting in, and everything's just kind of shut off. It's midday. Um, I mean, I, I got excuses. However, it's uh it's gotten really windy really brisk really cold i mean i've got the hut but i don't i don't really want to pop that up so we're going to call it good here i i got two perch which is awesome i'm going to come back here i'm going to do this again for more perch i'm going to try for a little early in the morning but uh i'm going to bounce out of here thanks guys for being with me on my first perch catch on the ice and uh first catch on the ice for 2022 so we'll see you guys in the next one Thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to hit the, subs the thumbs up subscribe button. Yeah, words are hard. It's freaking cold, I'm getting out of here. Back to the truck. Ah.